An OTDR characterizes a link, making sure that every element is within the tolerances required by the network operator. Whether in construction or troubleshooting, one needs to ensure the link meets the expected level of performance. Pass-fail thresholds should always be applied before testing to avoid post-processing manipulations. Pass-fail values can be determined internally by the engineering team or be required by the link's owner or user. These values can be operator-specific, or they can be derived from standards like TIA or IEC when deploying certain services on the link. The OTDR user needs to know which value or standard applies for the right pass-fail settings. There are three main parameters that need to be validated against a pass-fail threshold. Link elements. Each event, connector, splice, etc., needs to respect its individual loss level and reflectance as applicable. Even if the total link loss budget is respected, an event that exceeds its individual tolerances is a weakness in the link for future upgrades and a failure risk. Total link loss. From point A to point B, the total loss budget needs to be respected to make sure the transmitter and receiver used will deliver the quality expected. Optical return loss, ORL. Too high levels of reflections, mainly caused by bad connectors, may create instability in the transmitter, lowering signal and service quality. For these three parameters, don't forget to apply the proper values at each wavelength as per the link environment. To set up the pass-fail thresholds, simply go to the main menu, select Test Configuration, and follow these easy steps.